you know. Uh, it has a political philosophy uh, that cuts across, you know, uh, that will lead to the emancipation of the downtrodden in this country, and that will lead to economic prosperity, uh, which in turn uh, would affect uh, everyone uh, in Nigeria. And um, I'm just looking forward to an Ashwaju presidency, because I know uh, with that, our story cannot be the same. It's not enough that uh, he has seen battles. What is important and instructive is that he does not run away from battles. And it's not uh, battles of uh, uh, guns and arrows, it's battles of ideas, it's battles of, uh, uh, um, I mean, involvement in, in best practices, uh, it's battle of being able to network, you know, and build bridges and, and it's, it's be a solution. Ashwaju has presented himself as a solution you know, in many areas, and uh, uh, I believe that we cannot run away from this. Uh, uh, when Lagos needed a solution, Ashwaju was the solution by the grace of God. It was a Lagos that was uh, full of refuse dumps. It was a Lagos that was, you know, suffering from all manners of, um, you know, disaster, flooding, um, you know, uh, all manners of pandemic, you know, owing to lifestyle of people. Uh, God used Ashwaju as a solution, you know, uh, to change the face of transportation in Lagos, to change the face of security in Lagos, to change the face of leadership in Lagos State. And today, <clears throat> we have a new uh, Lagos, and uh, those who came after him have been able to also key in into his uh, um, blueprint 